Hi, with this um, episode here, I'm going to try factor semi-difficult uh, trinomials. I'll start off with uh, 3x squared plus 15x plus 12. Okay. Uh, notice over here we have this 3 as a coefficient in front of the x squared. So let's see how this plays a factor. Well, normally you got to find factors of 12 that adds up to 15, but in this case the 3 gets in the way. But uh, notice what we can do actually with the 3. Um, if you notice that 3 numbers, 3, 15, and 12, they all can be divisible by 3. So you can actually factor the 3 out first. So you divide by, uh, you take the 3 out and divide each term by 3. You actually get 3 on the outside. What's left is x squared plus 15 divided by 3 is 5x. Then divide 12 by 3. We get 4, and now we have 3 factor out, and we have a trinomial inside. Okay, from here, uh, this should look kind of familiar, x squared plus 5x plus 4. We can factor it the normal way. All right, look for two numbers that uh, multiply to get 4, adds up to get 5, and also, yeah, look for two of those numbers, okay? And, you know... Um, Factors of 4 is 4 and 1, uh, 2 and 2, right? Uh, we have also negative 4 and negative 1, and negative 2, negative 2, okay? All right, which one of these sets get adds up to 5? It's going to be 4 and 1. The factors here is going to be x plus 4, x plus 1, and the 3 stays on the outside, and that's how you factor uh, this trinomial. Let's do another problem. Okay, let's have 4x squared plus 36x plus 80. Okay, it might seem intimidating because we're dealing with large numbers here, 36 and 80, but it's really not. Notice that 4, 36, and 80 all has 4 as a factor, so we can take that out. Well, Divide every term by 4, you get 4 times, parentheses x squared plus, uh, you have 9x plus 20. Okay, from here, look for factors of 20, and that adds up to 9, then you will get x plus 5, x plus 4. 4 stays outside, and that's how you factor these semi-difficult trinomials. Okay. Thank you for watching.